Hello there! Today, we're going to go over how to navigate Figma's developer functionalities. Firstly, you'll need an account in order to view any Figma projects, so make sure you sign up by going to figma.com and clicking sign up in the top right-hand corner located here. One of the first steps you'll want to take is to check that you have all the assets you need after reviewing what the designer has provided you and what appears in the mock. Do you have the fonts, images, logos, and SVGs that you need? After confirming these elements, you'll have an easier time moving forward with your tasks. You can begin by reviewing the mock by accessing the Figma link that the designer provides you in the comment of the task you're working on, which should appear something like this in the project portal. After opening up the Figma link, you should see a screen like this where all the designs live. On the right side, you have access to inspect mode, showing all colors and fonts you will need. By clicking around the mocks, more details about the elements will appear so you can cross-check for any missing assets by referencing this section. If you do find that you are missing some assets, you can just reach out to the designer to request for them. Depending on the project, you'll either be looking at a single page or multiple pages when you begin developing, but the page we commonly develop first is the home page, as it includes the global styling that will apply on all other pages that you will be working on. So let's take a closer look at that. It's important to review the prototype first to grasp an understanding of how the elements of the page will interact or animate. The designer should have provided you a presentation link to view this in the comment, but you can always open it up by clicking the play button in the top right here corner here. As you begin to browse around, you get to see hover states and how elements should display when they're being interacted. Our prototypes are not usually fully functional with every button and link clickable. So in order to find what has an interaction link, you can click anywhere around the prototype and it will highlight those areas in blue as a hint. This should provide you an understanding of how the pages will work together and how their components should behave when trying different interactions. Now, let's return to the design file. By clicking on any component of the design, you will activate inspect mode for that component. Figma will show you the spacing and padding between your chosen component and other components. This left side menu will show you the components and layers that exist within each page. You can expand and truncate by clicking the chevron on elements that have multiple components grouped together. This can help you find layers that are harder to select directly or are hidden from the main frame and inspect it further from here. Designers should have the grid already set up for you upon delivering the mocks, but if this isn't active, as we can see here, you can always make it visible by going to the Figma drop-down menu at the top left, click View, and activate Layout Grids. Unfortunately, there is no way to inspect the grid specification in developer mode. However, our style guide will provide you details on the column and gutter widths to better guide you in the spacing of the design components. Some hotkeys you can take advantage of is zooming in and out. You can select an element that you want to see closer details of and hold Shift 2 to zoom in. Then hold Shift 1 to zoom back out. Another method of doing this with more control of how far you want to zoom is to hover any area you want to inspect more closely, hold command, and scroll in and out with your scroll wheel on your mouse in order to move around the screen without using the scroll bar. As you can see, I'm hovering over different areas of the design file and just using the scroll wheel in and out to zoom. Another method that you can take is to move around the screen without using the scroll bar at the bottom. You can do this by holding the space bar and dragging the screen with your cursor in any direction you want to move. You'll see the page move with you. So you have full flexibility here to move around the page. 
Once you have all global styling set up from the home page, the other pages should follow more seamlessly following the template you have implemented. Again, it is important to review the prototype, ensure you have the assets you need, and that all interaction states are available for you to reference. If you have any questions regarding the designs at any point, the designers are always happy to help, so feel free to reach out anytime you need clarification. I hope you found this tutorial helpful for you to begin your developing journey, and thank you for watching.